Let v be a cut vertex of a graph g. Then v is not a cut vertex of the complement of g. We'll be proving this little graph theory result in today's Wrath of Map lesson. This is another one of those fun results that says if this is true about a graph, then this is true about the complement. If v is a cut vertex of g, v is not a cut vertex of g complement. Remember that a cut vertex of a graph is a vertex that, when deleted, disconnects the graph or disconnects the component it belongs to. And the complement of a graph G has the same vertices as G and the opposite edges, so to speak. I'll leave links in the description to lessons I did on both cut vertices and complement graphs if you need a quick refresher. Here is a diagram that will help us through the proof. Quick thing I want to point out is that in this result, it does not have to be the case that G is connected. We're not assuming that. So it's possible that G looks like this. It's already disconnected, but if we delete V, that disconnects the component that V belongs to. So G might not be connected. That's not really an important part of the proof. I just wanted to point that out. Now remember, in order for vertex V to be a cut vertex of a graph, there must be two other vertices, say we call them U and W, such that every path connecting U and W contains that cut vertex V. Then, deleting the vertex V disconnects those vertices thus disconnecting the component that V belongs to. If every pair of distinct vertices that aren't equal to V are connected by a path not containing V, then obviously deleting V won't cut the graph, because all the vertices will still be connected by the paths that didn't contain V. So that's going to be a handy thing to know for the proof. In order to prove that V is not a cut vertex of G complement, we're just going to prove that any pair of distinct vertices that are not equal to V must be connected by a path that doesn't contain V in the complement of G. So let's get into the proof. We'll begin by saying let U and W be two vertices from the vertex set of the complement of G. Only restriction being that U and W are distinct and neither of them are equal to V. So we've just taken two arbitrary vertices from the complement of G that are distinct and not equal to V. We just need to show that they are connected by a path that doesn't contain V. That will prove that V can't be a cut vertex of G complement, because then deleting it will not disconnect any pair of vertices. And we know that two vertices like U and W exist, because remember we're assuming that V is a cut vertex of G. And so, at the very least, there are two vertices distinct from each other and distinct from V in G that deleting V disconnects. And since G complement has the same vertex set as G, we know that G complement must have at least one pair of distinct vertices that aren't equal to V. Additionally, if G complement didn't have two vertices like this, then our result would be trivially true. V certainly couldn't be a cut vertex. We can break the remainder of the proof down into two simple cases. The first possibility is that U and W belong to distinct components of G minus V. This means that in the graph G, U and W certainly can't be joined by an edge. They cannot be adjacent. If U and W were adjacent, which could look something like that, or it could look something like that, then they obviously could not belong to distinct components of G minus V because they would still be adjacent. Deleting V can't possibly get rid of an edge that joins two other vertices. So we know, since U and W belong to distinct components of G minus V, they cannot be adjacent in G. So we'll write then UW is not an element of the edge set of G. And what does that mean, my friends? Well, by definition of complement graph, since U and W are not adjacent in G, they must be adjacent in G complement. So U, W is an element of the edge set of the complement of G. Thus, of course, there is a path, we could call it P, going straight from U to W. That's a UW path that doesn't contain the vertex V, and so deleting V will not disconnect these vertices U and W in the complement of G. 
because again, U and W are adjacent in the complement of G. All right, and then case two is similar. What do you think case two is? The other possibility is that U and W belong to the same component of G minus V. Since we are assuming that V is a cut vertex of G, it must absolutely be the case that G minus V is disconnected. The original graph G might have already been disconnected, but we know for sure that G minus V is disconnected. So of course, G minus V has at least two components. We're saying that U and W belong to the same component, so there's got to be at least one other component. So let's take a vertex from some other component. We'll say let X be a vertex from a different component, different from the component that contains U and W. Then if X is in a different component of G minus V from U and W, they are in different components. What must be true? Well, we can use the same reasoning we did in case one to conclude that U X can't be an edge of G and W X cannot be an edge of G. So we'll write that U X and W X, neither of these can be edges of G. And again, that's because X is in a different component of G minus V than U and W are. If either of these edges did exist in G, then X would be in the same component as U and W after we delete V. And what does this mean, my friends? I think you know where this is going. Since UX and WX are not edges of G, by definition of complement graph, they must be edges of G complement. So UX and WX are elements of the edge set of the complement of G. And do you see why that matters? Why do we care about that? Well, because that means there exists a path we'll call P that connects U and W and doesn't contain V. We could go from U to the adjacent vertex X and X is also adjacent to W. So then from X, we could just go to W. There is a UW path in G complement that doesn't contain V. And so deleting V from G complement cannot possibly disconnect U and W. And so my friends, that just about does it. We can say, hence, we have just shown that G complement minus V is connected. And that's an interesting thing to note. We didn't know that the original graph G was connected or not, but we have shown that G complement minus V is connected. Because, of course, we proved that every pair of vertices in G complement is connected by a path not containing V. If you delete V, all the vertices are still connected. Therefore, which I'll write with the three dots like that, that means, therefore, V is not a cut vertex of G complement by definition. And that completes the proof. We showed that you can take any pair of vertices from G complement and they will inevitably be connected by a path that doesn't contain V. So deleting V does not cut G complement. V is not a cut vertex of G complement, and that is the proof of this fun result. If V is a cut vertex of a graph G, then V is not a cut vertex of G complement. So I hope this video helped you understand this fun little proof. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet.